everybody at what's up all right i just wanted to come on and say um happy new year's eve happy new year's um good afternoon good evening all that wonderful stuff to you all today and want to give you some quick quick motivation okay because you know everybody talk about uh the new year's eve resolution and all this kind of stuff Okay, if you have not started your New Year's resolution, like last week or week before, hey, Kiva, what's up, girl? Then you need to get started, okay? You don't have to wait to 12 midnight or 1201 or tomorrow. You need to get started now. So whatever goals you are trying to set for 2016, you need to jump on board and do what you do. Stop procrastinating. Stop talking about it and let's do something about it. Uh, she said, it's freezing on my end. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks for the hearts, though. It's, I, I'm sorry. I don't know why it's freezing. But uh, if it's freezing, just keep watching. <laughs> keep watching. Share the thing. Matter of fact, let me just start all over to get everybody clued in. This is your girl, Miss Cassie. And yes, I'm going to talk about some quick motivation because it's New Year's Eve, and I know people ain't got it together yet, but anyway, so, thank you for tuning in to my little broadcast, uh, if you're on an Android, swipe up, share it with your friends on Twitter, share it with any, anybody you want to share it with, okay, if you are on iPhone, swipe it to the left, right, so you can share it, and let's hang out for a minute, so, here's my thing. I'm coming in and talking to you about some, giving you some quick motivation resolutions, okay? It's um, about to be 2016 in a few hours here. I already understand that in Sydney, New Year's has already happened, okay? Hey, Kiva! Thank you, girl, for coming back. So, this is what you need to do. If you have not started your 2016 goals, your... Um, your resolutions, your your whatever you're trying to do, whether it's losing weight, new job, um, whole body makeover, new hairdo, um, going to school, starting school, going to the milk, whatever it may be, you need to get started. You don't need to wait to 1201 to do it. You don't need to wait until Monday to do it. And let me just break it down, folks. If you're trying to start losing weight, because everybody do this every year, I'm going to start losing weight, and then the first two weeks you're doing good, and then after that you say, guess what? You don't have to join a gym. You don't have to go get on Jenny Craig. You don't have to do Nutrisystem. What you do have to do is change the way you eat and start working out. And working out is simple as this, going outside and walking. Okay, it's just that simple. Getting on the floor and doing some stretches. You don't have to have all this expensive equipment in your house. You don't have to go to the gym, okay? Hey, Twinkie, you don't have to go to the gym. Just get started. Change the way you eat. Now, nobody said that you had to do, um, stop eating all the stuff that you like. But you need to eat in moderation and drink plenty of water. Watch what you're doing. So that's the weight thing, okay? So if your resolution for 2016 is to lose weight, folks, get started. Do it now. Don't wait till tomorrow because you know people are going to drink. So guess what? You should drink in moderation anyway, okay? She says, I exercise my legs even when I'm still sitting. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Exercise anyway. All you got to do is get up and move, folks. That's it. You don't have to have a trainer like some people do. You don't have to have a trainer. Get up and move if you just move. Do something. I mean, dance. Get up and do some stuff and do what you do. I'm just saying, do what you need to do to take care of you. If it's going to the doctor, go to the doctor, get a full checkup to see where you are at and what you need to do. If you need to be on vitamins, get on them. Find out the right ones that are going to be good for you. Now, perfect tip. Dr. Oz come on every single day. And if you don't have Tebow, it's, it's always something you can use to record the show. 
get your notebook, sit in front of the TV and check out Dr. Oz and take notes that are addressed to what's going on in your life. If you like teas, he talks about the different types of teas and what it do for you. If something's going on with your heart, diabetes, high blood pressure, all that, Dr. Oz got some answers. And then when you get those answers, go back to your doctor and take charge of your health and address your doctor and say, look, I think this is what's happened with me. I need to be checked out. Okay, so that's what you need to do. So if you are, that's your thing for 2016 is to start losing weight and get healthy. Don't wait to 1201. Do it right now. Start now. Matter of fact, after you get off of this broadcast with me, start then. No one said you have to give up your food, okay? <laughs> yes, it is perfect. And apple cider vinegar is also good for your heart and, and everything else. So just get started. That's all I'm going to say. No more procrastinating, folks, because you know that's what we do. We procrastinate. Oh, I'm going to do this, 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 that. Do you have a vision board out? If you don't know what one is, it's simple. Get you a little board. I don't care if you're doing stickers or notes, but it's goals that you set all during the year that you have envisioned for you to do for your own life. Okay, whether it's for your business, whether it's for um, this, the, the structure of your home or what you do in your home, get a vision board. It's not going to hurt. It takes you getting in control of yourself and it takes you getting in control and in charge of your life and what you're doing on a daily basis to make things in your life work better and become successful. So that's all I'm saying about that. So if you have not started your New Year's Eve resolution, what you waiting on? Really? What are you waiting on? Now, as for me, have I started my New Year's resolution? Yes, I have. Every year, around about September, late August, I start trying to make sure that I am booked for gigs, whether it's hosting, whether I'm in a movie or I'm working on a film as a producer, whatever it may be, I start making sure that I am booked before 12.01 or before 12 o'clock midnight on New Year's Eve, okay? So I have mastered that goal and um, all the people who hire me and work with me, I have to give them props. Thank you for trusting me and believing in my talent. And thank the man up above who keeps me doing this thing in the industry. So I'm happy about that. But there are other goals that I set as well. Now, am I perfect? No. And it's okay if you don't make it the first couple weeks like you want to. Don't give up and say, I'm going to wait the next year start all over but here's the thing when you start all over check out and see what you did wrong so you won't make that same mistake again okay so I'm just here giving you some quick advice um I'm on the east coast and it is cloudy outside it is cold here uh, it was in the 70s last week and the week before but now it's actually cold and hey it's New Year's Eve here. So if you're going out, make sure you're being safe. Make sure you're going out with people that you know. Be very careful. If you can stay home and have fun with your family, do it. Because that's what I'm going to do. I'm staying home uh, and I'm going to have fun with my family. We're gonna, I'm going to make some hors d'oeuvres and, and stuff like that. And we're going to bring the New Year's in celebrating. If you go to church, be careful. I used to go, I used to attend church every single New Year's Eve and I would be sitting up in the choir stand at Bethlehem Baptist Church, okay? And um, it's nothing wrong with it. Oh, you can praise God from anywhere you are, okay? It doesn't, you don't have to be up in the church every time, but you can praise God everywhere, anywhere you are. Trust me, you can call him anytime. So not only will I be at home 
bringing in the New Year's, but I also will be celebrating God because you know what? He didn't have to allow me to see another year. So I'm grateful and thankful for that. So if that's what you're doing, go to church, celebrate, have time, have a good time, um, praise him, hug your um, fellow church members and, and, and just fellowship. Have a good time, but get back home safely. And then tomorrow, what y'all doing tomorrow? Y'all going to chill out, rest up, because a lot of y'all got to go back to work uh, the next day. Oh, what, what are you planning on doing? You, you actually got Saturday and Sunday to chill out. So enjoy your family. You know, don't um, let, make some new rules. If you don't spend enough time with your family because of your work or whatever, try this year, 2016, Try to do something a little bit different that's going to involve you and your family together. Whether it's sitting down and playing some cards at the table. Whether it's sitting down and just having a five-minute conversation. Um, maybe uh, uh, some drink shots. Okay? Something that's going to bring you all together for a few minutes. Okay? And, and hug each other. Caress each other. Just say, hey, how you doing? I hadn't seen you in a minute. Something. That's what you need to be doing. But yeah, 2016 is coming in. It's coming, folks. So if you don't have your goals set, get them set. Go now. Do you all day, 24-7, seven, seven days a week, 24 hours. I, I don't do what you got to do. That's all I'm saying. Have fun. Live your life. Don't let stuff stop you. I don't care if it's losing weight. I don't care if it's going to get a new job. Go get it. Don't let nobody tell you you can't have that new job. Go get it. Don't let nobody tell you you can't lose this weight. Go get it. Don't let nobody tell you that you can't progress in your business or be more successful than what you were in 2015. Because I'm always going to be doing bigger and better things. So if you ain't doing bigger and better things around me, then guess what? I can't be hanging around you. Because when 2016 come in, I'm already going to be doing bigger and better things. And then 2017 come in, I'm going to be doing even bigger and bigger and better things on top of that. So what you going to be doing? Mm, you better get with the program. So guess what, folks? Have fun. Go party. If it's even in your house, Continue to work out. Like I said, it ain't nothing but walking. Go walking. And let me see some hearts. You know, I, look, I know y'all out there, but can a girl get some hearts on the screen? So can you just like tap right down here in the corner and tap and give a girl some hearts, okay? And think about this, folks. You got to try to get your life together. Every single Everybody, everybody, man, woman, wherever, have a story. You got things to do. You got goals you need to be, be attending to. You, got, you just got things you need to do. And here's the thing. You got to do them. You got to do them. I can sit here and I could be telling you all day long what you need to do, how you need to go about doing it to um, get yourself motivated. But it takes you doing it. So change your mindset. Put a smile on your face because there are going to be some days that you ain't feeling it. Get up and go anyway. And I tell you something, I'm working out with a trainer right now. And I had to, I worked on a, a film where I had to gain a lot of weight. And Lord, let me tell you something. When you're a little older, it's a little hard to get it out. But there were days that I did not want to get up and deal with this trainer because <laughs> he was kicking my butt. Okay, but I knew that that's what I needed to do to get back to where I was before I started working on that film. So um, I'm so glad that I got up and I did it. Now, like I said, there are days that this is hard <laughs> and it's getting cold. I don't like cold weather. So when we have to go outside and do a workout, I'd be like, oh, please don't make me go outside. So, uh, but I have to do it. It's a must that I do it because I want to be healthy. I want to be healthy mind-wise. I want to be healthy from the inside and I want to be healthy on the outside. Okay. So you need to care enough about yourself that you want to be healthy from the inside and on the outside and in your attitude and the way you carry yourself.
So, folks, like I said, 2016 is getting ready to roll up in here. And I don't know what y'all going to be doing. But I'm going to be at home. Thank God I'm not on the road working. <laughs> I'm glad to be home. <laughs> I'm going to be at home celebrating and bringing New Year in this way. And I'm going to be doing my, my dance and getting my little thing on too. So, you know, hey, <laughs> I'm going to be doing me. So I hope you all have a beautiful New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, New Year's Weekend. And I hope you are starting your goals already. Because if you're not, even if you don't start the day, just make sure you start. Let's say that. Let's make sure that you just, just start. If it's about working out, if, if you do nothing but get up and take some cans and raise your arms up like this here, it's okay. And you talk, okay, you know what? And, and, and let me just say this too, because we, we go through a lot with parents and, and we do the day-to-day -day things. We have bills and bills can stress you out. Your family can stress you out. You trying to do more for your family. Make sure your kids are together. All this kind of stuff can stress you out. She said, I got weights, girl. Well, guess what? You need to use them weights, girlfriend. <laughs> use them weights. Get up and, I'm going to tell you something. Get up and move. It, that's that's all it is. It ain't nothing but some movement. Get up and move. If your body's not used to you moving, trust me, you it, it, it's going to be a big change. You might be out of breath. Take it a little bit at a time. But now since you moving, now go outside and walk. Okay? <laughs> go outside and walk. You know, put, put on some leggings, whatever you got to put on. Warm yourself up. And get outside and walk. If you don't do nothing but walk around your complex or walk around your area one time or two times, do that. And make sure you're drinking plenty of water. But before you do all of that, I do have to tell you all, consult your doctor first. Don't go and jump out here and do something and then you fall out and die. So, and I don't want you to come back saying, oh, Miss Cassie said do this. No. Check with your doctor. Take control of your health, okay? Because really, that's the biggest resolution that people make when New Year's is coming in. Oh, I'm going to lose weight. Neutral system been burning up the dag on TV for the past few months. And they really doing it now because people, that's the first thing you talk about is losing weight. Well, neutral system is good. It works. But then after you off that plan, you got to continue to maintenance your your weight. So it's a lifestyle change. You don't have to, you know, you ain't got to stop eating dessert, but you got to eat stuff in moderation and know when to eat it and not and not to eat it. So that's all that's about. And if you're about to get a brand new job, go for it. If, it's, if you're saying this year, I want a better job to make more, do it. If you're saying you want to start your own business, guess what? Stop procrastinating. And step out on faith. Do all your research you need to do in order to do run your business, first of all, and see what you need to do. And then once you got all that in control and you can handle it, step out on faith and do it. Hey, if you fail, it's okay. Pick yourself right back up and get right back out there. Sometimes it might take you a minute to go back. Get right back out there. Get right back out there. And I know tweaking people do struggle, but here's my thing. I always say this. When you are really ready to lose weight, you're going to lose it. When you're really ready, you're done with it. You're going to, you, you, you're going to, you're going to, you, you're just going to say, that's it. I'm, I'm going to do what I got to do. Matter of fact, on anything, if it's another job you're seeking, if, if it's another career goal you're seeking, if you truly are ready to jump into that, you're going to do it. When you get tired of being sick and tired of the same old rut you already in, you're going to get out of it. So, folks, motivation quick. It's 2016 already for us. I'm concerned. Get up and do your thing. Love yourself first. I'm telling you now. Love yourself first. Do what it is you have to do. Take care of you. 
because it starts here. If you don't love yourself enough to do what you need to do, then you're not going to make it. So love yourself so that others can see that you love yourself and they can love you too and support you. And you support back. Okay? You support back. That's what you got to do. So 2016, if you ain't got your goals started, jump into your goals right now. You ain't got to wait to 1201. Do it right now. Okay? Get your music. Because I'm sure enough going to get mine. Um, in a few hours, the music is going to be popping up in here. Okay? And I'm going to be doing my thing. And I'm going to be eating some hors d'oeuvres. But, you know, I'm going to do what I got to do. Love yourself, folks. Have a beautiful, beautiful New Year's Eve night. Be safe. Be careful. Okay? Be careful. That, that's what I got to say. Seriously, be careful because a lot of people uh, have accidents around this time. So be careful, okay? I love you all. Thank you all for tuning into my broadcast. Share it if you like. Uh, now, look, I ain't going with somebody to give me some hearts, okay? So tap down there on in that corner down there and give a girl some hearts. I just want a little bit. I think I'm about to become a heart, a heart crazy person because I like the hearts. So, tap down there in the corner of the screen and give me some hearts. Share my broadcast. You all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the afternoon. And also, I will be on the next Scope Train USA this Saturday at 2.10 Eastern Time. And um, it's only five minutes, but we're going to be coming in telling us stories or whatever the case people got different stories about them or whatever but I'm going to be telling a little bit more about my story but I will be coming back in this form and telling you a little bit more about who I am and what I do and how I got to be doing what I am doing right now so uh, with that being said this is your girl Miss Cassie y'all be blessed be safe thank you for tuning in I love y'all peace out